Steve Maurer at the forward positions with Don Tobin at midfield. Oscar Pisano and Tom Kondrich on defense. Tomo will be our halftime guest tonight. So uh, stick around for that. Again, our lucky Invader fan quarter is the fourth quarter tonight. We will have two uh, lucky quarters next Wednesday night from Memphis as the Invaders meet the Memphis Storm. First road trip of the year for camp. And we're underway. Sanderson. Drops the ball back to Evans. Ahead, Knezic. Swanson clearing up the left side around the boards, trying to get around Tobin. In the arc, centering pass. Sanderson couldn't get the shot. Punched away by Namoski. And it's taken back by Rogers on the point. Maurer hounding him. Rogers with a spin move inside the red line. Condridge picks him up. He fires wide. Nobody home for the rebound. And Tobin has it back to the net against Swanson. And they'll steer it into the goalkeeper, Bill Namoski. Outlet long midfield left side. Maurer lets it go for Kia. Tried to feed it to Maurer. Got it a little bit in front of him. Maurer fighting around Knezic. He's taken down. And the Milwaukee Wave able to clear it into Rick Schweitzer. The only game that Schweitzer won this year, he got credit for the win for playing the fourth quarter against Chicago. He gave up four goals in that fourth period, but he came in after Pierce had surrendered three quick ones at the end of the third. Milwaukee won that game 10-9. to All four of Milwaukee's games have been decided by one goal. They've won one, they've lost three. Invaders have not been in a one-goal game yet. They've won one by five last Friday and one by four the opener. Kia with the ball just inside the Invader red line and drop it to Magic Celesta and out front of the line along with Art Kramer 
And Rudy Pikasinski, the primo line is what they want to be called. Denzel Antonio on defense, working with Timmy Tima tonight. Denzel spelling Walt Schlothauer, who is with the U.S. national team in Hungary. Celestin, lead ball in the corner for Kramer. Already working back to the net on the left side. Back out of the point, it comes to the Magic Man. Celestin, couple of steps into Rudy at the arc. Right back to Magic. Celestin, midfield, outside the circle, behind the line to Tim Tima. Lead ball in the right corner, it comes to Pikasinski. Rudy working back to the net against Larry Sunderland in on defense for Milwaukee. And they'll back it up to Tima. Tima forward for Celestin. Celestin trying to get inside, and man, and it's knocked away. J.D. sliding tackle, Rudy goes down. Delinsky will get called for tripping. That is the first foul on either team. It goes against the Milwaukee Waves. John Delinsky with 13.08 to play. In the first period. So the first thing J.D. does on his return to Canton, he commits the first foul of the game. Here is Antonio with a shot, and it's knocked out of play. A hit Rudy. That'll be a goal kick for Milwaukee. Delinsky and Sunderland are on defense. And uh, up front, well, they'll switch lines, and they've got the other line back in now. Swanson, Knezic, and Sanderson with Rodgers and Evans on defense. 13.05 to play in period number one. We have no score at the Civic Center. The Invaders and the Milwaukee Wave. You're with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, radio home of the Invaders. Glad to have you aboard. We remind you the Invaders' next home game is a week from tomorrow night against the Chicago Shockers. Acme Click uh, with a fine promotion there. And you can get a uh, discount on tickets at Click Stores. Tell you more about that later. Schweitzer comes out of his net across the red line. He wants Evans on the left side. Kia hounding him. They'll drop it back to Rogers. Maurer has it knocked away, and Schweitzer's got it back out front of the arc for Milwaukee. Seems funny to see Schweitzer in a uniform other than that of the Louisville Thunder. Schweitzer, long lead ball. He wants uh, Evans. Evans had it knocked away by Kia. Oscar Pisano trying to work around Knezic. That's a good matchup. Oscar and Peter Knezic. Knezic would have been in Hungary tonight, but he had the same problem that Art Kramer did, lost his passport. Here is Don Tobin, left side midfield. Once Maurer down in the corner, got him back to the net against uh, Swanson. And the ball knocked away. Tobin sends it in. They want Maurer in the give and go. And he centers and just wide. Kia chases it into the corner. Rogers beats him to the board, spins around. Tobin over to double team. It squirts out to the right point. Kondrich had it knocked away by Rogers there. And Pisano gets it back at midfield for the Invaders. Knezic out on him. Oscar back to the Canton red line. He'll dump it back in the penalty area to Bill Namofsky. 11.50 to play in the first quarter. Namoski out across his red line. Namoski to the midfield circle, and he sends it long, and it's over the glass and out of play into section 11. And Milwaukee will kick it in. 11 minutes, 39 seconds to play in the first quarter. Canton nothing, Milwaukee nothing. The primo line of Pikasinski, Kramer, and Celestin back out with Denzel Antonio and Tim Timo on defense. Milwaukee, John Delinsky and Larry Sunderland on defense. Tim Alioto, his brother Tom, is now the coach at Fort Wayne. Out there up front, uh, Jim Ross is at a forward position. And Chance Fry out front. Fry with five points on the year. Bad pass picked off by Pikasinski. They got a three on two. Rudy Kramer shoots. Good save and a kick save of beauty by Rick Schweitzer. Going down to his uh, right and coming up the floor with it for Milwaukee. Alioto feeds Fry his shot through the goal mouth and it's scooped up by Bill Namofsky. Outlet left side at midfield to Art Kramer. Hardy on the run. Hardy trying to get around one. Ball knocked away. Picked away by John Delinsky. Rudy knocks it right back and J.D. will get his second foul. <laughs> Two fouls on Milwaukee in the quarter, none on the Invaders. Tim Tima is pushed by Chance Fry. That'll be the third foul on Milwaukee. So the Wave getting themselves in foul trouble. Kramer inside trying to get around Sunderland. Sunderland got a piece of the ball. Artie got it back, took it away. He's got Rudy. Rudy whiffed on the shot up front. He had Schweitzer dead to rights and couldn't find the ball. Ross with it. Dumps it ahead to... Uh, Alioto, Alioto, shot blocked by Celestin. Celestin knocks it away. Alioto shoots again. Kick save and a beauty by Namofsky. Cleared away by Tima. Ahead to Celestin, the magic man, out across the red line. Pushes it up on the right side feed to Denzel Antonio. Now Celestin, edge of the center circle. Celestin sends it long. It's blocked by Sunderland, and Chance Fry gets it back for Milwaukee. Fry forward for Alioto. Tima up on him. They dump it to the midfield circle. And the ball knocked away from Fry. Kia got a piece of it. Here comes Celestin. 
Celestin around one. Pushes it up. Right side at the red line to Kia. Kia feeds. He shoots wide to the left. Nobody home for the rebound. Invaders will change lines. And Milwaukee on the move. Fry. Fry and Tima collide. Kia the double team. And Fry heals it down in the invader end to get himself off. As Milwaukee will switch off of the line change as well. Antonio on the can in the head. Right side at the red line to Tobin. Tobin trying to get it to Maurer. Maurer down in the corner. Looks for a centering ball. Kia shoots. And it's just wide. Rebound. Kia scores. the assist. Kia picks up his fourth goal of the year. Time of the goal, 5.08. And the Invaders lead one to nothing. Kia from Maurer at 5.08. The Invaders lead one to nothing. Rebound goal. Kia will get a lot of those. And Milwaukee on the attack. Sanderson double teamed. Here comes Kia. Kia trying to get around Swanson. Has to retreat. Dump it back in the corner to Kondrich. Tomo across the penalty area to Oscar Pisano left side. Pisano comes up on Knezic across the red line. Oscar ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy double team. Drops it back to Kondrich. Kondrich working on Sanderson through the midfield circle. Tomo clears around two. Gets it ahead to Rudy in the Milwaukee defensive end. And back to Pisano at midfield. Oscar sends it long, and Rudy has to come back out with it to Kondrich at midfield. Tomo back to Pisano at the Canton red line. Oscar being hounded there by Knezic. They drop it back in the goal area to Namofsky. And Namofsky will come out with it. Billy left side to Tobin. His pass hits Knezic in the back. And Pisano in a race to flex it away from Peter. Kondrich got a piece of it again. And now it's Pisano with the ball for Canton. Pisano. Clears between Knezic and Swanson, moving laterally across the field. Pass off the bench. Kramer tried to clear, but it was knocked away. And Knezic sends it forward. Knezic working against Pisano. Down, but shot blocked by Kondrich. And, and uh, it's Kramer after the rebound, and he dumps it around the boards into the waiting arms of Bill Namofsky. Outlet short on the left side to Don Tobin. Back to Kondrich. Kondrich around uh, Sanderson. Ahead left side of midfield to Art Kramer. Kramer against Rogers. Now right side of the Canton red line to Antonio. And now at the Milwaukee red line, it's Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net. Double team, triple team. Ball is knocked away, but Kramer's open at the other end. Kramer walked right over the ball. Rudy almost with a steal. Now Artie gets it back. Red line to the Magic Man. Celestin, two steps in. Three, around one. And the ball knocked away. And coming up with it for Milwaukee is Knezic. Peter Knezic drops it back to Rogers. And Rogers in the goal area. Now in the arc it is to... Uh, Schweitzer, Alioto forward for Sunderland. Larry Sunderland, right side of Milwaukee red line. John Delinsky, midfield. Canton red line. J.D. trying to get it ahead to Chance Fry. Does. Fry back to Delinsky on the give and go. Shot wide to the right. And the rebound comes outside. And Milwaukee able to clear it back out. Uh, Sasso Shirovsky has it. There's a shot. Good defensive play by Tima. Tima got pushed off. Didn't like it. He's letting Frank Fiend know about it. Namofsky able to come up with a save, however, and here comes the magic man, Celestin. Wants Rudy. Rudy in the right corner. Back to the net against Sunderland. Kramer clears out front. Celestin backs it up to midfield to Timmy Timo on the left side. One touch to Kramer. Kramer back to Antonio. Denzel to Celestin. Celestin with a crowd around him. The ball is knocked away, and Antonio got it back and drops it back again to Celestin at midfield. Seven minutes to play in the first quarter. Invaders lead 1-0. Kramer out front of the net. To Antonio and to Tima at midfield. Tima sends it in the corner for Pikasinski. Sunderland will try to clear for Milwaukee. Rudy got a piece of the ball, but Sunderland comes away with it. And it's Shirovsky. Sasho Shirovsky. There's a name for you. To Sunderland, and up the floor comes Alioto. Alioto, right side midfield around Kramer. He's got Chance Fry working against Antonio in the right corner. Kia over to double team, and Fry had a handful of the jersey. But uh, Kia had the ball anyway. Now there's a steal. Alioto with a shot wide. After his own rebound, Tima knocks it away. And Kia coming up the right side of the floor. You've got Maurer clearing long on the break. Kia shot. Maurer. Schweitzer's out of the net. Maurer couldn't get the shot away, though. Had to chase the ball loose into the corner. Centering pass is deflected. And Milwaukee controls out front. Sunderland off the left, right side boards. Knocked away by Maurer. Antonio's got it at midfield. And now Tima. Six minutes to play in the first quarter. Canton one. And Milwaukee nothing. Don Tobin 
midfield outside the center circle of the right side. Working against John Delinsky, uh, mid, uh, against the boards to Pisano. In the corner, Maurer tried to center, and Sunderland blocked that. And coming the other way is Alioto. Alioto trying to get Kia out, runs him, knocks the ball away from behind. Here comes Kondrich through the midfield circle on the attack. Kondrich for Tobin, left side. And the ball is knocked away by John Delinsky. And coming up the floor with it for Milwaukee is Shirovsky. Shirovsky drops it over to Alioto. Invaders have not committed a team foul yet in the first quarter. Sanderson stepped off the bench, had the ball taken away by Kondrich. He feeds Kia back. Maurer fires. It's wide. Rebound is controlled by Sunderland. He almost knocked that into his own net. Schweitzer looks over and says, hey, man, what are you doing? Long lead ball. They want Sanderson. And they drop it over. Derek, there's a shot. Knezic centering pass. No, Knezic shot blocked by Pisano. And it is uh, Evans in the corner. Evans tries to center, and Tobin knocks it away. Kramer had it deflected by Rogers, but Artie gets it back off the foot of Kia. Kramer trying to move on Swanson. Artie up the right side. He shoots, and Swanson blocks it up into the crowd with 4.46 to play in the first quarter. Canton won. Milwaukee nothing. The invader goal at 5.08 of the first period. Kia, his fourth goal of the season. Steve Maurer picks up his first assist of the year to go along with a goal he got last week. One to nothing, Invaders. 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio. Your radio home for Invaders soccer. Corner kick, Canton from the right side. Kramer will put the ball in play. Art Kramer. Outside, Antonio winds, fires, it's blocked out front. Antonio got the rebound off the boards to Tima, got inside Swanson, double team though, and here comes Knezic. Up the left side of the floor for Derek Sanderson. Lost the ball, and Antonio coming back with it for Canton. His pass for Pikasinski is deflected by Knezic, and Peter has it back. Knezic leaves it at midfield for Steve Swanson, left side, and it's Evans, edge of the midfield circle, working on Pikasinski. They got Sanderson down on the left side of the penalty area with Tima against him. Now Evans, Pikasinski with him stride for stride into the curve on the left side. They feed it for Rogers. Shot rejected. You've got Magic Celestin on the breakaway. Celestin's got one man to beat. Schweitzer with a save. Celestin is down. He's hurt. And we will keep playing for a minute here. Pikasinski with the ball for Canton. And Antonio's got it back. And now they'll stop play for the injury as Magic Celestin taken down by Schweitzer who made a good play to get to the ball and they'll attend to Magic and while they do that we'll take a quick timeout with a score the Canton Invaders won the Milwaukee Wave nothing they'll have a drop ball and just on the Milwaukee side of midfield Canton attacks from our right to our left as we look at it here in the first quarter Celestin down. I'm not sure if he fell on I think he fell on his elbow. Have to see. He walked off kind of holding that left arm a little gingerly. Tobin knocks the ball away from Swanson. Ahead to Pikasinski. Back to the net against uh, Rogers. And now it's uh, Tima. Rudy lets it go for Don Tobin. Again, Swanson around the boards for Rudy. Schweitzer out to knock it away. Knocked it right to Tobin, however. Off the left side boards for Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside. And the ball is knocked away by Lee Rogers. Rogers with the ball for Milwaukee. Swanson, left side at midfield. Sends it forward for Knezic. Knezic, Tima trying to get it away from Sanderson. It squirts to the right sideboard. Sanderson flags it down there. Antonio back on defense, and Sanderson knocks it into the stage. That'll be a goal kick Canton with 3.16 to play in the first period. Invaders lead Milwaukee one to nothing. Tomorrow night in the AISA, Chicago is at Tampa Bay. Sunday, Chicago is at Louisville. So the Shockers on the road for a couple of games. Invaders will be in action next Wednesday night against the Memphis Storm. 725 airtime here on 1480 WHBC. And we have an official's timeout. And while they do that, we'll take a break. 316 to play in the first quarter. Canton won. And Milwaukee nothing. So the movie channel presents VCR Theater every night at 3 a.m. Get connected to the movie channel, a perfect VCR accessory. Call Warner Cable at 494-0095. Your attention please, maintenance to the visitor bench, please. Maintenance to the visitor bench. It pays to buy at Jay's Television and Appliances, locally owned, serving Northeast Ohio with the best in sales and service, with two convenient locations in Canada and one in New Philadelphia. 
American Telecommunications Company is the exclusive telecommunications company of the Canton Invaders. Telephone systems for small and large businesses plus cellular one phones. A handy coffee mug from the United Bank. And if the Invaders score a goal in that period, you win dinner for two, $20 towards dinner for two at the Tavern and the Tower, and two tickets to a future Invaders game. We will have two contest quarters Wednesday night from Memphis, so if you want to get in on that, uh, get your postcards in the mail. We ask that you send us your name, address, and telephone number to Lucky Invader Fan, care of WHBC Radio, Post Office Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Things are getting serious with the door. They brought a hammer out downstairs. And we're still working on that, getting the door fixed out in front of the Milwaukee bench. And once that is accomplished, we'll get back to playing some soccer here. It is one to nothing. Invaders leading the Milwaukee wave. And when play was stopped because of the door problem, we had three minutes and 16 seconds to play in the first period. Canton won, Milwaukee nothing. Kia got the goal. It was a rebound. Off of the shot from uh, Steve Maurer. And the crew looks to be about satisfied. They open the door. It opens correctly. They look to close it. And the Milwaukee players head back to their bench. And we're ready to get this thing underway. When, when play stopped, Sanderson had uh, knocked it into the stage. And we will have a goal kick coming up for Canton there for Bill Namoski to put the ball in play down at the right end, the stage end of the Civic Center. 1-0 Canton, 316 to play in the first period. Now Mosky puts it on the floor, right side ahead to Pisano. Oscar back in the goal area to Namoski. And Billy will come out with it. Namoski out to the arc. He is not marked right now. They'll try to get him across the red line. Then he can send it down without the three-line violation. Billy is across the red line. He comes up close to midfield. Sends it ahead. Keel with a shot just wide. And the rebound by Maurer and a Jim Dandy saved by Schweitzer. Maurer tried to center it back, and it took a bounce over the glass and out of play. And it was touched last by Canton. That would be a goal kick, and Schweitzer will put it in play for the wave. Almost a heck of an opportunity there. They couldn't quite get it done. Right side it comes in the Milwaukee end to John Delinsky. J.D. working on Kia. And back to Schweitzer. He'll pick the ball up. And Schweitzer outlet to midfield. Down at the red line. He wants Chance Fry. Fry leaves it for Delinsky. Delinsky right point and out of the middle of the floor. And he clears across, leaves it. There's a shot, and into the stage, off the foot of Rogers. That was Alioto, 15, not 16. His brother played for Milwaukee two years ago, played for Louisville last year. Now with Fort Wayne and with uh, Cliff Brown getting fired this week, Tom Alioto is the Fort Wayne coach, and he is 1-0 as the Fort Wayne coach, picking up a victory against Toledo, but Brown got two of those, and it didn't save him his job. Tom Alioto, of course, is a player coach with Toledo, with uh, Fort Wayne, I'm sorry. Only other, Trevor is a player coach somewhat in the league, and Keith Tozer is. Hope Alioto doesn't start losing his hair. Here is Namoski, midfield for the Invaders. Namoski through the midfield circle to the Milwaukee red line. And he dumps it down for Pisano in the corner. Oscar looking for the wall pass. Won't take it. He's got Kia. Kia had the ball knocked away by Delinsky. Delinsky lost it back, and Kia put it into the cheap seats. Goal kick for Milwaukee. Kia a little slow getting up, but he'll be okay. Evans and Rogers come in on defense for Milwaukee. Knezic, Sanderson, and Swanson up front. And on the line change for the Invaders, it's Antonio and Tima on defense. And... Uh, Two-thirds of the Primo line. Uh, Celestin injured earlier is not in. Kramer and Pikasinski are out there along with Steve Frick. Which one of them is going to play midfield? You have to watch for that. I would think it might be Artie. Schweitzer with the ball. Pikasinski applying pressure. They get the outlet to Knezic. Knezic midfield for Swanson. Right back to Knezic. Knezic across the Canton red line. Feeds to Sanderson on the right side. And back to Rogers. Lee Rogers. 
against Pikasinski at midfield. Knezic had to stretch for that pass, just did get it back to Rogers. And Evans sends it ahead for Swanson. Swanson back to the end of the left corner against Antonio. Frick to double team. They clear it back of the point to Evans. Evans back to midfield. It's Rogers on the right side. On the point, right side to Sanderson. Sanderson trying to get inside Tima, but got the ball too far. And Namaski scoops it up. Billy will put the ball on the floor, right side to Antonio. Denzel back to Namaski. 58 seconds to play in the first quarter. Namaski out through the arc and out to the Canton red line. Milwaukee will back up and they will not mark the keeper. That allows Namaski to come out to midfield. Now Tima. Tima sends it long for Pikasinski and it's headed up in the air by Rogers and over the glass and out of play into section 12 with 42 seconds left in the first quarter. Canton one, Milwaukee nothing. Kramer to put the ball in play, touch line right, centering pass, knocked away. Swanson tries to control, and he sends it ahead on the break for Sanderson. Tima with him stride for stride, and Timmy able to outrun him to the ball. Dumps it in the goal area for Namofsky. 32 seconds, outlet short on the right side to Antonio. Denzel across the Canton red line, met there by Knezic, ahead to Frick. Fricky around a pick by Kramer. Sends it for Artie on the give and go. Artie trying to get around Swanson. Swanson in the goal area. Schweitzer knocked away. It's loose. And Fricky could not quite get there before Evans knocked it away. A couple of Milwaukee players get in each other's way. Swanson wanted a trip, but he tripped over his own player's legs. He wanted a trip on Tima, but Swanson tripped over Sanderson. There was no foul there. Four seconds. Pikasinski out to the point, and that's the end of the first quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders won. The Milwaukee Wave, nothing. We'll be back. Guess that you may not see him anymore tonight. So we'll check. Is Magic out for the night? Don't know for sure, but I would think that you will not see Magic unless he's needed. It's a severe shoulder bruise is what we hear on Magic Celeste. Steve Maurer, Kia, Don Tobin, Tomo Kondrich, and Oscar Pisano on the floor for Canton. And for Milwaukee, Delinsky, Sunderland, Alioto, Sharovsky, and Ross. Invaders dump the kickoff back to Namaski. Namaski will come out across the red line with it. And Billy, edge of the midfield circle, sends it long in the corner for Maurer, but it's over the glass and into the stage. And that'll be a goal kick, Milwaukee. We played 18 seconds of the second quarter. You are with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, your radio home for Invaders soccer. Our third year, the Invaders' third year, and we're glad to be a part of it. Back-to-back -back defending AISA champions. Schweitzer, long outlet, picked away by Kia at midfield, taken down by Delinsky, and he's going to get two minutes for that. John Delinsky hauled Kia down, and he knew it. Kia with his head down on the floor, but I've got to believe that there was a little bit of a grin on his face when that happened. Time of the penalty, 30 seconds. Into the second period, Delinsky will go down, two minutes for holding. The Invaders' power play is tied for tops in the league, 40%. They have scored twice in five man advantage situations. Milwaukee's penalty killers, they've given up two goals in seven situations. 71% penalty killing, and that's not too bad either. The Canton power play team, without Schlotthauer, will be comprised of Tobin, Pisano, Pikasinski, Kia, and Maurer take Schlotthauer's place. Short-handed team for Milwaukee, Sunderland, Swanson. He's got the ball. It's picking the pass away. Ross, and coming up the right side of the floor, that is uh, Shirovsky. They take it into the invader end, but can't be able to dig it out. Tobin ahead. It comes to Pisano. Invaders on the attack with a minute 38 left in the penalty. Oscar, left side to Tobin. Now to Pisano. Pisano in the corner for Kia. Kia wants to center and scores! It hit Sunderland and went right between the legs of Schweitzer and in. Schweitzer letting Sunderland have a piece of his mind. Kia will get the goal. And I think he'll give the assist to Pisano. If they give an assist. Power play goal for Kia, his second of the night. Time of the goal, a minute four of the period. And the invaders lead two to nothing. 
And Pisano picks up his second assist of the year to go along with Kia's fifth goal. And the Invaders lead two to nothing. Milwaukee trying to come back now. Evans ahead. They get it to Knezic. Knezic shot and a good play out front by Antonio to block that one away. Rogers in the corner for Swanson. Antonio got a piece of that. Knezic trying to get around Frick. It ends up back at the feet of Evans at midfield. Off his knee. Now it comes to Sanderson on the point on the left side. And they dump it in. It's too long for Swanson. Antonio will steer it into the waiting hands of Bill Namofsky. Long outlet. Pekosinski trying to get around Evans. Lost his balance for a second. Leaves it for Frick. Fricky with Kramer and Rudy. Kramer at the red line. Back up to midfield to Tima. Timmy directing traffic. Pekosinski in the corner. Back to the net on Evans. Pekosinski trying to turn. Double team. Swanson got a piece of the pass. Rudy got it back to Antonio. And Antonio will steer it back to Tima. Tima one touch ahead for Frick. Frick, red line. Swanson steps in front of him. Lost the ball. Antonio knocks it away. But coming up with it for Milwaukee is Knezic. Knezic dishes back. Sanderson had it knocked away by Tima. And Kramer knocks it away. Sanderson down to slide to knock it away. Antonio and him fight for it up against the sideboards. And Sanderson back out midfield. Evans tried to clear. It's Ross. Ross on the point. He's got Evans on the left side, and he can't get away from Tima. Back to Ross. Ross for Knezic, and he knocked it in the cheap seats. 12.25 to play in the first half. Canton 2, Milwaukee nothing. It'll be a goal kick in Baders. As soon as they give the ball back to Namoski. Tobin with Kia and Maurer up front. Namoski and uh, in goal, and you've got Kondrich and Pisano on defense. Ross Fry and Alioto up front for Milwaukee. And Sunderland and Delinsky on defense. Maurer midfield back through the center circle. Canton red line to Pisano. Pisano working against Alioto. Retreats now ahead. It comes to Maurer. Steers it for Kia. They want Maurer on the give and go, but Kia can't get the ball as it's deflected by Delinsky. And it's back to midfield to Kondrich. Kondrich in on Fry. Back to Kia. Kia to Tobin. Tobin tried to steer it into Kia. J.D. knocked it away to Alioto. Kia got it back. And it goes in the goal area where Schweitzer controls for Milwaukee. Outlet to Chance Fry. Fry working against Kondrich. And he clears it back to J.D. Delinsky against Kia at the red line. Sends it forward for Ross, but Pisano had position and forward for Tobin. Here come the invaders, three on two if they hurry. Tobin sends it airborne for Kia in the corner, but it takes a bad hop off the glass, and Delinsky will come out with it for Milwaukee. J.D. up the left side of the floor. Midfield, the red line, drops it back for Alioto. A couple of steps in on Tobin. Alioto shot, and the point blank save by Namoski. Outlet on the right side to Pisano. Pisano through the midfield circle. Oscar stops at the Milwaukee red line, backs it up on the left side at the midfield stripe to Donnie Tobin. Off the left side boards for Kia. Kia turns, moves through the middle, wants a shot, and it hits a man right in the face. Sunderland caught that one right in the chops, and fortunately Schweitzer was able to hang on to it for Milwaukee. Sunderland shakes a few cobwebs away as Alioto comes up the left side for Milwaukee. Fake the shot, dump it in the corner it comes. And this is Fry. Fry to... Evans. Evans shot wide to the left, and the rebound comes out to Steve Maurer. Maurer had the ball knocked away by the referee, Fien, and it comes back to Condridge. 10.40 to play in the first half, 2-0 Canton. Pisano at the Invader red line, sends it ahead for Steve Frick at the Milwaukee red line. Now back to Pisano again, and he leaves it there for Tim Tima. Line change is complete as Alioto steps onto the floor. Kramer off the boards for Pikasinski, trying to get inside. Wall pass is blocked by Ross. Rudy gets it back in the right corner. Pass blocked by Ross again. Knezic sends it forward. Taken down by Kramer. And Antonio got the ball back for the Invaders in the midfield circle. It's Frick. Left point. Nobody marking him. Frick will fire. And it's over the glass and out of play. Goal kick Milwaukee. 10.06 to play in the first half. Canton 2, Milwaukee nothing. Kia has both goals for the Invaders. Schweitzer will put the ball in play. It's what? Grade one separation in the shoulder for Magic. We were told he will not be back tonight, but it's not serious. Might be able to play, probably will be able to play next Wednesday. 
against Memphis, we hope. 10.06 to play in the first half. 2-0 Invaders lead on the two goals by Kia. One of them a power play goal. Schweitzer puts the ball in play to Derek Sanderson and now back to Schweitzer. Schweitzer picks it up. Looks and now rolls the outlet. Alley, or, uh, that's uh, Rogers. Back to Sanderson. Sanderson and Frick collide and Frick will get whistled for the foul. That's the first foul on the Invaders. Not only in the quarter but in the game. First foul on either team in the second period. Knezic at the red line. Picked clean by Kramer. Artie on the break. He shoots and Schweitzer comes out with a heck of a save. Out to midfield. Sanderson trying to get around Tima. And he drops it back. Passes behind Swanson. And, Al and uh, Antonio's got position on the boards. Denzel clears to Art Kramer. Kramer up the right side. He's got Rudy to his left. And Rudy, good save by Schweitzer. Rudy with a rebound. Hit the post on the right side. Long lead for Sanderson, and Namovsky out of the net to knock that free. Kramer tries to clear. Knocked it back to Antonio. Antonio and Swanson fight for it, and they get it in the goal area for Namovsky. Namovsky to Tim Tima. Tima, and a good play by Swanson to knock that away, but then he knocked it right into the Milwaukee bench, and that'll give it back to Canton. Nine minutes exactly left in the first half. Two to nothing, Invaders. Kramer wanted to get the ball in play in a hurry, but they're changing lines on him. So Artie will trot off. Nine minutes to play in the first half. Canton two and Milwaukee nothing. High school football tomorrow, 2.40 airtime from the Rubber Bowl as Hoover meets Willoughby South in the Division II semifinal game. And the Buckeyes of Ohio State meet Michigan on the FM station. That one hits the air uh, a little before noon. Tomo Kondrich with it ahead to midfield off the foot of Tobin. And Shirovsky controls for Milwaukee in the goal area. Schweitzer has to dribble, sends it long. Kondrich heads it into the back of Pisano. And Tobin clears ahead to Kia. Kia dishes back to Kondrich right side at midfield. Eight and a half minutes to play. Tomo will be our guest at halftime. Tobin sends it ahead for Maurer. Maurer back to the net on the left side. And they clear it. Tobin. Drops it back. And Pisano with it outside the invader red line up to midfield. Sends it ahead for Maurer. Maurer back to the net. Double team by Fry and Sunderland. Maurer got away from them both and scores! But they called a foul on Maurer before the goal. No goal. They called a foul on Maurer. It'll be the second foul on Canton as Maurer got whistled for holding. And I think that was a good call. In, there's a shot and a great save by Namovsky to save Galeotto. Alioto had him point blank, and Billy came out and made a honey of a save. That was a beauty. That's the best one of the night. Corner kick for Milwaukee from the right side. 8.02 to play in the first half. Canton 2, Milwaukee nothing. Chavorsky will put it in play. Sunderland shot, and Namoski comes up with another gem. Grabs it and holds on. Rolls the outlet short on the right side to Pisano. Pisano ahead to Kia midfield. And Kia couldn't control, but it knocked right back by Alioto. Bad pass. Kia gets it ahead to Kondrich. Kondrich for Maurer. Maurer looking for a feed. Got Kia in front of the arc. Has to back it up to midfield to Don Tobin. Tobin in the midfield circle. Launches it in the corner. Maurer and Sunderland in a race. And Maurer will get called for the push. That's the third foul on the Invaders in the period. None on Milwaukee. Milwaukee had three called on them in the first quarter. The Invaders had none. 7.32 to play in the first half. Milwaukee will put the ball in play in their own end. Touch line right side, and they dump it in the goal area for Schweitzer. Rick picks it up. His outlet is headed right back to him by Kia. And Schweitzer will come out this time with the ball on the floor. Frick up to confront. Bad pass taken away by Kia. Kia collides with Fry. Still got it ahead to Frick. Frick double teamed, and Delinsky comes away with it. J.D. on Pisano. Comes ahead to Tim Alioto. Alioto through the midfield circle. Pushes it forward. Jaworski with a shot wide. Delinsky with a follow wide. Punched away by Namovsky. Tried to get a... Kia couldn't clear. Fry's got it in the corner. Kia and Kondrich over to double team. Fry got away from both of them, but Tobin out. And Alioto got it back for Milwaukee. In the corner, Alioto, nobody home. And here comes Kia with it for the Invaders. He steps over a sliding play, and they say play over. 
and they get Zareski with a shot wide. Fry couldn't get to the rebound. Condridge has it for the Invaders. Lead ball for Steve Frick. Frick trying to get around his man. He does around Rogers. Frick's got Kia taken down from behind, and here comes two minutes on Rogers. Both referees pull out the two-minute card on that one. Kia would have had to break with Frick. They could almost call a penalty shot on that, but I don't think they will in this situation. Time of the penalty will be 8.25. The Invaders scored on the first power play opportunity. Timeout will be called by Milwaukee with 6.35 to play in the first half. Canton 2, Milwaukee nothing. Two-minute penalty for Kirby on number 16, Lee Rogers. Time for the call, 8.25. Advantage, Canton. Our Swanson, Sunderland, Shirovsky, and Ross. And the Invader power play, Pisano, Tobin, Maurer, Pikasinski, and Kia. Tobin at midfield, right side at the red line to Pisano. Kia with a shot, no rebound, good play, but Pikasinski scores on the rebound. Schweitzer made the initial save, and Rudy headed it right back in. It took seven seconds of power play for Rudy Pikasinski to score his fourth goal of the year. Three to nothing, Invaders. give Kia an assist, his first assist of the year. And the time of the goal will be 8.32, the second power play goal for the Invaders tonight. And they lead 3 to nothing. Took seven seconds of the man advantage for Rudy to find the back of the net. Again, Schweitzer made the initial save, but Rudy headed the rebound right back in. Evans with the ball for Milwaukee. Drop it over to Rogers. Rogers for Sanderson. He and Tima fight along the boards, and Tima gets whistled for the hold. That's the fourth foul on Canton. The Invaders now have to be wary of drawing the sixth foul with 6.18 left to play. They only have one more to give in this period. No team fouls on Milwaukee yet, but they have been called for a pair of two-minute penalties. Derek Sanderson hobbles off, and Chance Fry comes in. Tima knocked the ball away from Knezic from behind. Kramer trying to clear. Knezic and Swanson double team. Kramer bounces it off the boards, but Knezic gets it back for Milwaukee. Evans on the left side. He fires. It's wide. The rebound followed up. And Namoski able to get up and take it away from Swanson. Billy getting high up in the air. Long lead for Frick. And it's knocked away there by Rogers, or Fricky would have had a breakaway. Knezic, Milwaukee, or the Invader red line, pass blocked by Kramer. Swanson ahead for Rogers, and they back it up to Evans at midfield. And Tima with an interception took the ball away from Fry. Timmy forward for Steve Frick. Frick will one touch it back to Antonio out across the Canton red line. 5.34 to play in the first half. 3-0 Invaders. Pikasinski, ball knocked away from behind by Evans. Antonio has it left side at midfield. Now Tima in the Invader end, leaves it on the left side for Namoski. Namoski will come out with it across the red line. 5.18 to play. Long lead for Billy. Rudy tried to steer it. And Schweitzer out of the net, sends it long and into the Invader bench and out of play. Schweitzer had to do that simply because there wasn't much else in the way of options open to him. His alternative was to take on Rudy or Frick, and I really don't think he wanted to do that. Frick back to the net, left side touch line. Back to midfield. The ball sails behind Antonio, and Namoski comes out after it. Billy sends it ahead to Tima. Tima lets Fry clear and comes up the left, right side of the floor. Got Kramer in front of him with Frick and Rudy. Shot deflected. Swanson, there's a shot by Tima that hit Rudy, I think, right in the stomach. And they chase it all the way back to the Canton red line where Antonio gets it there. Ahead to Frick outside the Milwaukee red line. Fricky double team. And his pass uh, for Tima. Fry tried to pick it off, couldn't do it. And Tima sends it ahead for Kramer. Back to the net left side against Swanson. Already trying to get inside. Cut off on the boards in the curve back there. And Kramer sends it ahead for Frick. Frick knocks it back to midfield for Tima. 4.28 to play. Pass blocked by Knezic, and Knezic 
Hits it off the top of the glass for Swanson. Kramer hounding him. Knezic runs into Kramer, and Artie will get the push. That's the fifth foul on Canton, and now the Invaders have to be careful because the next one will put Milwaukee in the man advantage situation. And we've got four minutes and 19 seconds to play in the first half. 3-0 Canton. Evans will drop it back in the penalty area for Schweitzer. And right back out it comes to Evans. Frick comes up to pick him up. Evans, and the pass knocked away by Tima. And he knocked it into the crowd, unfortunately. Uh, Timmy wanted, had visions of clearing that ball ahead for Frick, but he got around it a little bit on the right side. And it sails up over the glass and out of play. 4-11 to play in the first half. Canton, three. And Milwaukee, nothing. Uh, Kia with a pair of goals. And he assisted on the one that Rudy Pekosinski got. Two of the three Invader goals have been on the power play. John Delinsky to put the ball in play for Milwaukee with 4-11 to play in the period. And the Invaders with five fouls in the period. Milwaukee has none. <coughs> Delinsky sends it forward for Alioto. Back to J.D., left side at the red line. Delinsky in the midfield circle for Sunderland. Sunderland working on Maurer. Get it ahead to Ross, taken away by Kondrich. Kondrich trying to clear to Maurer, and it bounces off his chest into the Invader bench. And Milwaukee will be in control. Larry Sunderland to put the ball in play for the wave. Touchline right side at midfield. Back to Delinsky. Delinsky sends it forward for Ross. Knocked away by Pisano. Right to J.D. And he hits it up high off the glass. That's still in play. It comes down. Tobin couldn't get it. Neither could Alioto. Kia comes over to double team. Tries to punch it out of there. And they call Kia for the foul. And that'll be the sixth one. And Milwaukee will go on the power play. Time of the penalty will be 11-19. As the Invaders draw the sixth foul penalty. This will be Milwaukee's first power play opportunity of the night. The Invaders are two for two. Milwaukee on the power play this year, 31%, five out of 16. The Invader penalty killers have been perfect so far this year. They've killed off the only three shorthanded situations they've faced. Tima, Antonio, Frick, and Kramer to kill the penalty. And for Milwaukee on the power play, you will have Delinsky, Evans, Louis Bennett, Knezic, and uh, let me see who that is in the corner down here has a three on his shorts, and they don't have a three on their roster. Uh, it might be Rogers. Let's see if there's a four on the shirt. Yeah, there's a four on the shirt. That's Rogers. No, it's, uh, it's uh, Fry. Fry. Okay. We got the power play straight anyway. Delinsky. Red line, fires wide. Bennett missed the hitter after the rebound. Antonio clears it out to midfield. J.D. will flag it down at the middle, at the Milwaukee red line, a minute 35 of the penalty. 3.14 to play in the first half. Evans, left point area. A couple of steps in on Kramer. Now Bennett, left side against the boards. Back to Evans, and now Delinsky, right side to Knezic. And J.D., left side to Evans. Three minutes in the period, minute 18 in the penalty. Delinsky, couple of steps. He takes the shot, and Antonio with a sliding play to take it away from Bennett. Bennett complaining about what I'm not sure because he was not touched. Louis gets away with enough uh, when he's on the floor. Has a reputation around the league of being one of the dirtier players in the league. 112 in the penalty, 2.53 to play in the second period. And off the goal kick, they want him to do it again. So Namofsky will start play. 3-0 Canton. Namoski to Tima. Tima back in the goal area for Billy. And Namoski sends it long for Frick. Frick trying to get between a couple of wave players. And he gets around J.D. on the boards. Spins and Fricky will choose some time as he drops it back to Antonio. Antonio with a nice move around Bennett. Off the boards to himself, but Schweitzer comes out to pick the ball away. 52 seconds left in the penalty. Schweitzer leads it ahead to J.D. Delinsky through the midfield circle. Milwaukee back on the attack with a man advantage. Left side feed. Evans knocked it into the cheap seats. Just a little bit of over-anxiousness there on the part of Mark Evans. And 42 seconds left in the power play for Milwaukee. 2.23 in the half. And the Invaders will have another goal kick. Billy Namoski to put it in play for Canton. 
Over to Tima. Tima steers it back in the goal area. Namoski picks it up, takes it away from Chance Fry. And trying to get it ahead to Steve Frick. Frick trying to get inside. Delinsky does. Frick to the red line. Taken down by Evans. Knocked it away. Tima sends it ahead to an open Kramer. He shoots it into the stage because of very good defensive position by the goalkeeper, Rick Schweitzer. Schweitzer had it played perfectly and forced Artie to send it high, and he knocked it up into the stage. Goal kick Milwaukee, 207 and a half and 26 seconds left in the penalty. Delinsky across the midfield circle. Frick waits for him at the Canton red line. Pushes it on the right side to Knezic. Knezic with a shot, and Namoski with a save up against the left post. 14 seconds in the penalty. Namoski lead pass intercepted by Knezic. Milwaukee on the attack, three on two. Knezic feeds Bennett. Bennett knocked it out of play. Six seconds left in the penalty, and the Invaders should be able to kill it off as they'll get the ball when they put it in bounds. 147 to play in the first half. Canton leads three to nothing. Goal kick for the Invaders. Artie Kramer dumps it back in the goal area for Nomoski, who will put it in play. And the penalty killers for Canton and the power play team for Milwaukee both depart with only six seconds left. Oh, great. we got another Rodgers in the game. They have a Jeff Rodgers and a Lee Rodgers. Lee's the one that's been playing. Now Jeff is in the game. And I don't think Lee is. So that'll give us a break for now. Penalty is over. Namofsky holds on to the ball until it runs out. Nikosinski, who was serving the sixth foul penalty, comes on. Namofsky sends it ahead for Kia. Kia back to Kondrich. Kondrich forward for Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside Sunderland. Sunderland and Rudy fight for the ball in the corner. And it's knocked away and a foul on Rudy. The holding foul is the seventh of the period. But with a minute 19 left, that really doesn't matter. Kondrich heads it away from um, Jeff Rogers. Milwaukee will kick it in. Shirovsky to put it in play. Sasha Shirovsky dishes it back to Sunderland. A minute 14 to play in the first half. Delinsky, right side of the midfield circle. Launches it long for Shirovsky. Shirovsky back to the net in the corner. Hit him on the hand, but no whistle. And that comes to Sunderland. Sunderland sends it in. Alioto had the ball knocked away from behind by Pisano. Here come the invaders on the attack. Oscar with Kia to his left. Rudy to his right. Feeds Rudy right through his legs. Rudy trying to look for a feed now. Nikosinski has one goal tonight on the power play already. He has four on the season. And he's the leading uh, point scorer with seven on the invaders. Rudy off to a great start this season. 41 seconds to play. Kia back to the net trying to get around Rodgers and they drop it out to uh, Tobin. Tobin for Pikasinski, Rudy in the right corner, 31 seconds in the half. Ahead to Kia, back to Rudy, give and go, it's loose. Schweitzer punches it away before Rudy could feed a wide open Kia. Pisano gets it back around one, ball knocked away from Oscar. Jeff Rogers, ball knocked away by Tobin. And Shirovsky and Tobin fight for it. And Delinsky clears to midfield to Jeff Rogers. Rogers kind of tripped over his own feet and Shirovsky ends up with it. Eight seconds to play in the half. Delinsky with Kondrich with him step for step. Lost the ball. Kondrich trying to take it away from Shirovsky. Does, but time runs out. That's the end of the first half with a score. The Canton Invaders 3, the Milwaukee Wave nothing. The Canton Invaders 3. Once again, we're Tim Hackathon and her mother, Lee Keith Campbell, outside the Invader locker room at halftime. Immediately following tonight's game, once again in the front of the building, you can get your picture with Don Tobin or Steve Frick on an official Invaders photo button for only $3.50. That's immediately following tonight's game. Also, soccer again at the Civic Center. The boards are back in place and we're ready to go. 
Steve Paxos, you do good work as a maintenance man. <laughs> that got the collar unbuttoned and the tie loosened up in one heck of a hurry. He's had to work hard down there tonight. Milwaukee will start controlling the kickoff in the third quarter. Fry, Alioto, Ross, the front line with Delinsky and Sunderland on defense and Schweitzer in goal. Maurer, Kia, and Tobin, the front three for Canton. Pisano and Kondrich on defense and Namofsky in the net for the Invaders. Delinsky, Milwaukee red line, ahead to Fry at midfield. Alioto drops it back to J.D., edge of the center circle. Lead ball, they want uh, Fry in the corner, but it's knocked away by Tobin, ahead to Kia. Kia's got Maurer clearing to his right, leaves it instead for Pisano. Pisano at the Invader red line on the right side. Third quarter is underway. Tobin dumps it down in the Milwaukee end, and they'll change lines right away. Primo line. Pikasinski, Frick, and... Uh, there's a first foul of the game. Uh, the third quarter goes against Kramer. And Milwaukee on the attack. Fry trying to get around Pikasinski, and Aliota will take it back at midfield for Milwaukee. Evans into the game on defense. Evans being hounded by Frick. Drop it back to Schweitzer. One touch ahead coming up the left side of the floor is um, Evans. And Rogers, Lee Rogers, pass picked off by Pikasinski, and now it's uh, Antonio with it for Canton. Antonio got around Rogers, and Denzel comes up. Here come the Invaders, four on two if they hurry. Denzel will feed, Rudy will score. <laughs> Pikasinski, his second goal of the night, give the assist to Denzel Antonio at 109 of the period, and the Invaders lead four to nothing. They got the break, and they executed it very well. And for Denzel Antonio, give him some congratulations. That's Denzel's first point as an invader. Rudy, his second goal of the night, and his fifth of the season, and the invaders lead four to nothing. John Delinsky back at the midfield line. Boy, Milwaukee, the one thing they didn't want to do, come out and give up a goal right away. Shirovsky sends it ahead for Alioto. Now back at midfield to J.D. Delinsky left side. He wants uh, Fry. Fry being hounded from behind by Tima. Delinsky shot. Rebound knocked away by Antonio. J.D. back in the corner looking to get it back out front of the point it comes. And Fry will drop it back. J.D. working against Frick. Cuts it inside. Trying to get it out front. Alioto shot wide. Rebound knocked away by Tima. And they send it ahead for Rudy. Rudy, middle of the floor, pushes it up on the left side to Kramer. Kramer across the Milwaukee red line. Once Frick, he shoots, and Frick's on the rebound, just knocked it wide. Kia knocked away from Shirovsky. Kramer couldn't get the ball back, and Milwaukee on the attack. Sasho Shirovsky feeds to Fry. Tima stepped in front, picked it away, and Sunderland takes Frick down. No call. And Frick and Delinsky fight for the ball. Fry comes in, but he gets it back to Tima. Tima pushes it up the right side for Kramer. Artie out front. He shoots. It's blocked. Uh, Frick trying to get inside. J.D. does. Tried to center for Kia. Kramer's shot. Kia had it knocked away, and Delinsky sends it out for Shirovsky. Shirovsky backs it up away from Frick, who clears by, and in the goal area, Schweitzer has it. Outlet short on the right side to Sunderland. Sunderland back in the goal area for Rick Schweitzer. Schweitzer sends it long, and Antonio knocks it away from the man from behind, but Evans gets it back. Knocks it away from Maurer, back in the Milwaukee end. Schweitzer outlet Evans short on the left side. Kia up on D against him. Now on the right side, it comes to Sunderland. Maurer picks him up. Sunderland across the red line, midfield for Peter Knezic. And they drop it back to uh, Evans. Evans ahead. Sanderson and Tima in a foot race there. Tima able to kick that one away from Sanderson into Namoski in the goal area. Long lead for Maurer. Maurer trying to get around his man. Does. Looking for a feed. Three men collide. Two guys and the goalkeeper. And they eventually squirt it into the goal area where Schweitzer controls. Maurer, Evans, and Schweitzer all went down in a heap. The ball ended up in the middle of them. By the time they got up, it was to the point where the keeper could put his hands on it. And to the other end, Evans almost picked up somebody in the back row of the bleachers of the stage. There'll be a goal kick for Canton with 11.44 to play in the third quarter. 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, your radio home for Invaders soccer. Canton 4, Milwaukee nothing, 11.44 to play in the third period. Billy Namofsky to put the ball in play for the Invaders. Fourth quarter tonight is our lucky contestant quarter. 
Stay tuned for that. Namofsky long outlet left side midfield for Kia. Kia digs it off the boards, moving back to midfield. Cuts between two wave players, and he had it uh, stepped in from behind and taken away by Lee Rogers. But Kia and Maurer double team Rogers. Maurer comes away with the ball. Maurer with a shot wide. Rebound to Tobin. Tobin to Kia. Kia shoots and a point blank saved by Schweitzer and again. And Schweitzer picks up the loose ball. Kia got the rebound and pumped it in again, and Schweitzer had it off his shoulder and grabs it and holds on. 11-11 to play. Schweitzer sends it long, and that's out of the play into section 15. And they'll put it back in play. Right side touch line in between the midfield stripe and the invader red line, and both teams will use the break to change lines. We've got 11.07 to play in the game. Canton 4, Milwaukee nothing. That's 11.07 in the third quarter, I'm sorry. If it was in the game, we'd be in our, pay, our uh, contestant quarter, and that's not the case right now. Antonio sends it long for Frick. It's knocked away by Delinsky. Denzel gets it back. Got inside Alioto to Kramer off his foot. J.D. knocked it right to Pikasinski. Rudy shot wide. Rebound to Frick. Frick to Artie. Artie sweeps it in the corner. Out front, Rudy can't get it. Fry tries to clear. Rudy blocks it. Sunderland clears it out to Alioto. Back to Sunderland. Frick knocked it away from behind. And it rolls harmlessly down in the invader end where Namoski touches it ahead for Denzel Antonio. Back to Namofsky, 10.38 to play in the third period, 4-0 Canton. Namofsky out across his red line, sends it ahead, Rudy lets it go by, and Ross trying to clear, dumps it back, Sunderland ahead of Delinsky. J.D. up the middle of the floor, across the midfield circle. J.D. feeds right side to Fry. Fry's shot hit the post, rebound deflected by Antonio to Kramer, midfield to Pikasinski. Rudy back to Antonio, clearing up the right side. Denzel down in the corner. Against J.D. turns. Sunderland knocks the ball away. It goes in the goal area. Schweitzer grabs it and holds on. 10.05 to play in the quarter. Schweitzer, long outlet for Alioto. Midfield touches the back. Sliding play by Antonio. Knocks it away. Denzel up the right side. He shoots. And the rebound shot off the right side. Frick couldn't get it. Frick, he's got to chase it down on the point. Gets away from Delinsky. And back at the invader red line to Tima. Right side in the invader defensive end. Namofsky ahead to Antonio. And now Kramer at the red line. Kramer working on Ross, sends it ahead. And Rudy matched up with Rogers, and they dump it in the goal area. Lee Rogers for uh, Rick Schweitzer. 9.33 to play in the quarter. Schweitzer will come out with it. Ball on the floor. Schweitzer out across the red line. Stops, invaders do not mark the goalkeeper. Schweitzer sends it long in the corner. Tima will beat Evans to the ball there. And they fight for it. It's knocked loose, and Maurer will try to clear. Maurer being double teamed, and he bounces it off the boards. Knezic knocked it away. Rudy gets it, and now Tima. Tima, left side midfield for Kramer. Ball knocked away by Swanson. Swanson and Antonio in a race to the boards. They fight forward in the right corner in the Canton defensive end. Centering ball knocked away, and Knezic has it on the left point for Milwaukee. Knezic tries to get it out front to Sanderson. He feeds Lee Rogers. Shot, uh, weak shot that was blocked by Antonio. Really fielded almost by Antonio, and Evans with it at midfield for Milwaukee. 8.44 in the period. Evans backing up away from Maurer, right side to Lee Rogers. Rogers forward for Sanderson. Sanderson trying to get inside Antonio. Denzel picks the ball away and knocks it up against the boards. Denzel ahead, right side feed, and the invader end to Kramer. Eight and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Kramer back in the goal area for Namofsky. Invaders will change lines. Billy waits for the line change to become complete. And now drops it on the right, left, left side to Pisano. Pisano working against Swanson. Back in the goal area for Namoski. Out to the right to Tobin. Back to Billy. And Namoski sends it long up the right side of the floor. Rogers knocked it away, but Maurer's got it back for Canton. Maurer, middle of the floor, through run. He shoots. He hit the post on the right side. Here comes Kondrich. He'll let it go. And it's knocked away by Evans on the head. Knezic and Kondrich fight for it up against the left side boards. And Sanderson clears. Kondrich cuts him away, but Tomo will get whistled for obstruction. And the team fouls are even. Or check that. No, it's two fouls on Canton, none on Milwaukee. In the third period. Sanderson with it, left side at midfield, fighting away from Kondrich. Now it's Evans. Evans right side, Kondrich in front of him. Now Maurer, Maurer knocks it away. And we've got a whistle and a foul on Maurer. And that's three on Canton in the third period. Milwaukee hasn't had a foul called on him since the first quarter. 7.34 to play. 
And Knezic will put the ball in play from the right side. Peter Knezic back to Lee Rogers. Rogers on Pisano. Pisano and Kia double teams. Kia picked him clean. Here come the invaders on the attack. Kia's got Maurer to his right. He feeds Maurer. Maurer shoots and it's scooped up by Schweitzer. Schweitzer directing traffic and very upset because somebody wasn't where he was supposed to be and rolls the outlet short on the right side to Swanson. Swanson picked up by Kia and they drop it over to Rogers. Rogers and Frick up against the left side boards and Rogers will retreat. Back in the goal area, Schweitzer sends it long to midfield. Dolinsky off his head down the left side and knocked it in the stage. Lost his balance as he took the shot and it'll be a goal kick invaders with 7.02 showing in the clock in the third quarter. Canton with a 4-0 lead. Milwaukee really has not mounted any serious offensive threats in the third quarter. Invaders have one goal in the second half by Rudy Pikasinski. He's got two on the night, so does Kia. And Denzel Antonio picks up his first assist. First point as an invader. I think he might have had one in the All-Star game last year, but that doesn't count in the uh, league statistics. This is the first one that goes down on the sheet. 6.56 to play, third quarter. Namaski will come out of the box with it. Billy out through the arc and across the red line. Nemofsky, midfield, edge of the center circle. Alioto comes up. Nemofsky sends it for Frick. Frick heads it to Kramer, and Kramer shot just high over the right side of the net. Schweitzer didn't know what to do with that. It'll be a goal kick, and I think Ricky was lucky that that ball was not on goal because he just kind of waved at it as it went by. He didn't really have any idea where that was coming from. 6.42 to play in the third quarter. Canton 4, Milwaukee nothing. Goal kick for the Wave. Schweitzer to put the ball in play. Milwaukee in blue. Blue shirts, white shorts. Canton in the home gray with black shorts, red and black trim. Schweitzer picks it up in the goal area. Long outlet midfield. And it's headed by Fry. Headed right back by Tima to Pikasinski. 3,765 at the Civic Center tonight is our attendance. So another good crowd. The Invaders drawn well and well they should. Bill Namoski in the goal area for Canton. Alioto creeps up on him. Outlet left side to Tim Tima. Ahead to Pikasinski at midfield. One touch to Kramer. Back to Rudy. Heads it up to Frick. Frick heads it in for Kramer. Kramer lost the ball. It's loose. It's still loose. And Schweitzer pounces on it. But you're going to get a foul against Canton on either Rudy or Kramer as they collided pretty hard with the goalkeeper. And we've got an injured Milwaukee player. It is uh, Shirovsky. Sasho Shirovsky down in front of the net. Four fouls on Canton in the period with 6.08 left. They can only give one more. They want to avoid the six foul penalty. They had one called on them in the second quarter, able to kill it off. Milwaukee has had no such luck with their penalty killing unit. They've been shorthanded twice and given up a pair of goals. Sasho Shirovsky being attended to out in front of the Milwaukee net. 6.08 in the third period. Four to nothing, Invaders with the lead. Two goals by Kia, two goals by Rudy Pikusinski tonight. In the nose, and he's uh, being attended to. Working on him on the bench, and Milwaukee will put the ball in play in their own end. Delinsky and Schweitzer back there under the watchful eye of Steve Frick. Shirovsky didn't even stay on the bench. They're taking him back to the locker room. Schweitzer will bring the ball out himself. Schweitzer out across his own red line. Sends it down in the Canton end. And they wanted Sanderson and Fry. Try to take a dive. Didn't get the call this time. And Antonio working against uh, Alioto. Try saying those two back to back in a hurry. Get it into Namofsky, outlet on the right side to Tima. Timmy across the red line to midfield. Sends it long off the glass. Stays in play. Frick in the corner, back to the net. Trying to get her away from Sunderland and Fry. And the ball squirts out of that stack, and Fry tries to clear. Gets it around the referee and clears to midfield. Now John Delinsky against Tima up the right side. Delinsky drops it back for Fry. Fry, bad pass. And taken away by Tima and knocked in the goal area for Namofsky. Outlet on the right side to Art Kramer. Kramer against Swanson, ahead it comes to Frick. Frick kind of uses the referee to control the ball. And Antonio now at midfield. On the left side, it's Timmy Tima. 5.03 to play in the third quarter. Tima for Frick. Sunderland got inside him and clears it out to Delinsky at the red line. 
Delinsky to Alioto. Tim Alioto, brother Tom is a Fort Wayne coach, pushes it ahead to Sunderland on the right side. Sunderland will fire through the box. Nobody home there. Swanson with a follow, blocked by Antonio, knocked it out of play. Milwaukee will put it in play. Touch, tie, touch line left side of the Canton defensive end. 4.46 left in the third period, and Vader's lead 4 to nothing. Four nothing invaders. And you've got the line with Kia Tobin and Maurer out there. Pisano and Kondrich on defense. Knezic, Sanderson, and Swanson up front for Milwaukee. Lee Rogers and Mark Evans are your defenders. One goal in the second half. It belongs to Canton. Rudy Pikasinski. 109 of the third period. Denzel Antonio got the assist. Knezic will put it in play. Shot was blocked by Tobin. But they're going to make him do it again because they say Kia didn't give him enough room to get the ball in play. And we'll start again. Kia backs up a half a step. And before, while the ref isn't looking, he steps up closer than he was before. <laughs> Shot blocked by Kia. And Rogers will try to work on Maurer, try to get inside of him. And they drop it back to Swanson at midfield. Swanson sends it in. Sanderson had the ball knocked away by Kondrich. Kia couldn't control, but Kondrich gets it ahead for Tobin. Tobin gets it airborne, trying to get around Swanson. And the long-haired lad from Liverpool will stop and let everybody clear by. And now it's Maurer. Midfield on the right side to Kondrich. 4.20 left in the period. Lead ball in the corner. And Maurer tried to head it in for Kia, but it was deflected by Knezic, and that allowed uh, Schweitzer to get control of it. Sanderson right side at midfield for Milwaukee. Across the invader red line, double teamed, and he backs it away from Maurer and Pisano. Pushes it over to Evans, unmarked in the left point. Evans fires, blocked away out front, and Kondrich able to clear. Knezic couldn't find the ball when Namaski was down. Kia clears it in the Milwaukee end. Schweitzer's waiting for it there. Outlet right side to Rogers. Rogers long ball for Swanson, left corner in the invader defensive end. Swanson back to the net in the corner against Tobin, double team. Kia knocks it away, ahead to Maurer. Here come the invaders, two on two. Pisano clears right by his man. Maurer taken down, but Pisano's got it in the corner. Pisano looking to center, gets away. He fires, the shot was behind Kia, who was looking for the feet on the left side. Maurer spins away from a man on the boards and dumps it back to Tobin at midfield. 3.22 to play in the period. Tobin, couple of steps in. Kia back to the net, clears to Tobin, lost the ball. Tobin and Knezic in a fight for it. And we've got a whistle, and Tobin will get whistled for holding. That's the fifth foul on Canton. And the Invaders must watch it now. With 3.14, they do not want to draw the sixth foul. Schweitzer ahead to Delinsky at the Milwaukee red line. Delinsky, long lead for Alioto, but Kondrich got around him. They try to center out front, can't get the shot. Sanderson had it partially deflected, and that's going to be the sixth foul as they call one on Pisano. Or is it? Apparently not. Okay, it's still five fouls. We have three minutes to play in the third quarter. Canton four, Milwaukee nothing. Delinsky with it at the red line. Kramer on him. Delinsky launches it in the corner. Fry trying to center. Tima knocks the ball free, and here comes Antonio. Denzel up the right side of the floor. Denzel across the midfield line. Dumps it for Pikasinski. Rudy, right side. Ball knocked away by Fry. Rudy and, and Alioto fight for it there, and it's cleared back to Tima at midfield ahead to Kramer. Kramer left side at the Milwaukee red line. Hardy a couple of steps in, wants Pikasinski, ball knocked free. Rudy taken down, no call on Alioto, but Frick got the ball back for Canton. Now it's Alioto. Frick stays clear, trying to avoid drawing the sixth foul. 2.20 to play in the third quarter. Delinsky across his midfield, across the red line. Alioto, Delinsky give and go, he collides with Frick. That one will go against John Delinsky. First foul on Milwaukee, first one they've had called on him in over two quarters. Ahead to Kramer, he shoots, and Schweitzer comes up with a Jim Dandy save to knock that one free. I'm not sure who was supposed to be marking Kramer. I don't think Schweitzer is either. There was nobody around him. Normally, Schweitzer would be chewing somebody out for that. I don't think he knows who made the mistake. 
Jeff Rogers is in for Milwaukee along with Sanderson Knezic and now Jeff Rogers comes out thank you because Lee Rogers comes in Swanson is in and Evans is the other defender now corner kick invaders Kramer will put the ball in play from the right side with 207 to play in the third quarter and no he won't he'll come out and they'll put the other line in Tobin will be the trigger man with Maurer, Kia, Pisano, and Kondrich, the other four guys on the floor for Canton. Namofsky eyeing things from the other end of the floor. Schweitzer lines up against the near side post. Kramer, Pisano scores! <laughs> on the assist from Don Tobin, he just beats Schweitzer clean. So deadly, the invaders have been on the set plays. Nothing fancy. Tobin just dinked it over to Pisano, and he rifled it past Schweitzer, who never had a chance on it. Time of the goal, 12.55. And the invaders lead 5 to nothing. Five nothing invaders, 2.05 to play in the period. And it is not a happy scene in the Milwaukee bench. A lot of smiles on the far side where the invaders are sitting. Lee Rogers ahead. Knezic trying to get around Kondrich. Dumps it to Sanderson. And there's a steal by Maurer. Maurer took it away from Rogers, trying to get it out front. But Sanderson will be there for Milwaukee and steer it into the keeper, Schweitzer. Outlet Knezic in midfield. Knocked away by Kondrich. Kondrich. Looking for Kia in the corner. Kia feeds. Maurer couldn't get it. It was knocked away in there by uh, one of the Milwaukee players. Again, he can't read the number. And some of these guys don't have the same number on the shorts. That guy had 14, which is Jung Tron's number on the shorts, and he's in Hungary. I know it wasn't him. It was uh, Rogers that was coming up with the ball, and now Swanson had it knocked out of play, but it's corner kick for Milwaukee. With a minute 28 to play in the third quarter, Invaders with five fouls. They want to go that long without drawing another one. Shot by Evans, blocked by Pisano, and they back it up to their own red line. Milwaukee does with Schweitzer. Schweitzer out to the edge of the midfield circle, and the Milwaukee goalkeeper sends it for Swanson. Swanson and Kondrich battle for it in the right corner. And Maurer out to double team. They get it out to Lee Rogers. Rogers shot wide. And Evans with a follow blocked by Pisano. Pisano to Kia. Kia on the breakaway up the right side. Kia, he shoots. Blocked, but rebound. And he is blocked out front by Knezic, who was Johnny on the spot, covering up for the keeper, who had to come out. 55 seconds. Schweitzer, long ball for Swanson, leaves it for Knezic. Knezic ahead. Pisano stepped in front of the pass and took it away from Sanderson. Pisano up the left side, spins, trying to get away from two guys, goes down. Ball knocked away by Maurer, taken back by Rogers. Rogers and Pisano tangled. 39 seconds. And Swanson with it at midfield on the left side. Now back to Evans at the Milwaukee red line. 32 seconds in the third quarter. Alioto sends it forward for Sunderland. Sunderland working on Pisano. They drop it back to Swanson. Swanson, ball knocked away by Maurer, taken by Tobin. 20 seconds in the period. Tobin at the Canton red line. They'll take their time, really have one rush here. Pisano still in the Canton end. Alioto comes up. Oscar out across the red line, nine seconds. He sends it long for Steve Frick. Frick sends it out, and some idiot threw a paper plane on the floor with two seconds. And the foul goes against Milwaukee. Invaders will have one chance to put it in play. If you come to the games, folks, please don't throw stuff on the field. Please do not do that. Tobin will put it in play. Kondrich will fire, blocked by Swanson, and that will be the end of the third quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders five, the Milwaukee Wave nothing. The end of the third quarter, they score. The Milwaukee Wave zero, the Canton Invaders five.
just for sending your card in and having us pull it, you have won a free coffee mug from United Bank. If the Invaders score in this fourth quarter, you will win a $20 certificate towards dinner for two at the Tavern in the Tower and tickets for two to a future Invaders home game. If you would like to be a part of this contest next week, uh, send us a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to Lucky Invader Fan, WHBC Radio. Post Office Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Peter Douglas of Piedmont Avenue, Southeast in Canton. You are our lucky contestant for this, the fourth quarter. If the Invaders score a goal in this quarter, you win the dinner for two at the uh, Tavern in the Tower and two tickets to a future Invader game, and you have already won the coffee mug from the good folks at United Bank. Opening kickoff of the fourth quarter. Kramer sends it ahead for Tima. Tima sends it way up in the air. Sunderland heads it back, ends right at the feet of Kramer. Kramer trying to get around Rodgers does, but Delinsky clears for Milwaukee. Antonio got it back, collides with Antonio, and a pass hit Denzel in the face. Here comes Antonio. Alioto shot wide and uh, just uh, off the post. Nobody home for Milwaukee for the rebound. Frau sends it up. That's probably the best uh, scoring opportunity Milwaukee has had in the second half. Delinsky dumps it down for uh, Jeff Rogers, left side against Frick, and back out to Sunderland, left side at midfield. Sunderland, couple of steps in, drops it back to Delinsky. Delinsky's pass uh, taken away by Frick, and he dumps it back for Tima. Tima for Denzel Antonio. We played 50 seconds of the fourth quarter. Canton five, Milwaukee nothing. Rudy Pekosinski tried to get between a couple of players and couldn't control the ball. Now Chance Fry has it for Milwaukee. Fry up the left side of the floor, picked up by Kramer at the red line. Ahead for Rogers, back to Fry. Fry, a couple of steps in. Alioto back to the net, back out to midfield. Now it's Delinsky, edge of the center circle. Right side to Sunderland, picked up by Rudy. And back to J.D. Peter Douglas, Piedmont Avenue Southeast. The Invaders playing for you this quarter in our Lucky Invader Fan Contest. In the corner, Fry and Tima fight for it. Timmy knocked it away from behind, ahead to Kramer. Kramer backs away from Jeff Rogers, dumps it back to Denzel Antonio, and Milwaukee has to clear back on defense. 13-20 to play in the game. Canton five, Milwaukee nothing. Don Tobin for Canton at his own red line. Sends it ahead for Maurer. Maurer, the Milwaukee red line right side. Back to Kondrich, right side at midfield. Ahead for Kia. Kia, with three guys around him, shovels it back to Pisano at the edge of the midfield circle. Now Tobin against the left sideboards. Maurer back to the net on Sunderland. Heals it for Tobin. Tobin wall pass. Kia with a head shot just wide. Maurer looking for the follow. Ball loose out front. And you're going to have a foul on the invaders. First of the period on either Maurer or Kia crashing in inside. And Milwaukee will put it in play. 12.52 left in the game. Every time we've run the Lucky Invader fan contest so far this year, the contestant has been the winner. Peter Douglas, we hope the success continues for you. Louis Bennett, oh, he got hammered from behind by Condrich. That's the second foul on the Invaders. Tomo, I think he thought Bennett was going to keep moving, and he didn't. And uh, Tomo just kind of ran into him. Fasano sticks his foot out to knock the ball away from Bennett. Does. Kondrich tries to clear. And Lee Rogers has it back at the point. Now midfield. Knezic right into the chest of Don Tobin. Here come the invaders three on three. Tobin right side to Maurer. Maurer backs it up to midfield to Pisano as Bennett had gotten back on defense. Pisano sends it ahead. Kia back to the net out front. Right back to Oscar. Right side to Maurer. Maurer out of a double team gets it back. Tobin, left side midfield to Kondrich. Forward for Maurer. Maurer trying to get inside Evans. Bennett over to double team. Maurer comes away. Bennett draws the foul. First foul on Milwaukee in the fourth period. The Invaders have two. 7.25 airtime next Wednesday night for Memphis. And Bennett's going to get two minutes for arguing about it for unsportsmanlike conduct. I don't understand Louis Bennett. Bennett was lucky he didn't get called for throwing an elbow earlier down here. And he gripes about that one, and Louie's going to sit down for two minutes. If there's anything that Milwaukee doesn't need, down by five, it's to go shorthanded. But Louie Bennett has managed to accomplish that feat. Three minutes of the period, the time of the penalty. 
And that's good news for Peter Douglas. If the Invaders keep their power play record intact tonight, they were two for two on the power play in the first half. This is their third opportunity of the night. If the Invaders score, Peter Douglas, Piedmont Avenue, Southeast in Canton. We got a couple of tickets and $20 toward dinner for two at the uh, Tavern in the Tower. Invader power play unit is on the floor. Don Tobin at the red line. Right side to Pisano. Pisano back to Toby. Toby, Pisano, right side. Oscar back to Toby. Minute 45 in the penalty. And Pisano now clears it over to Maurer on the left side boards. And back it comes to Don Tobin. And it's Oscar. Oscar winds and fires wide. Rebound, Maurer, shot hit. Hit the post and then hit uh, Schweitzer in the back of the head and hit the post again. Knezic up the floor, ridden off the ball by Pisano. And Tobin will knock it away off the boards into the goal area. Pisano will come away with it, and the Invaders will resume the attack with a minute 17 left in the man advantage situation. Don Tobin to the Milwaukee red line on the right side feed to Pisano in the corner for Kia. Kia looks to center. Pekosinski with the shot wide open and missed it wide to the left. Schweitzer was beat eight ways to Sunday, but Rudy did not find the back of the net. 11 minutes to play, and Rudy won't miss that very often. He's got two goals already tonight, and he leads the team in scoring coming in now. He's got eight points on the season. They called Bennett for delay of game because he was arguing. While he was arguing, he was holding the ball. Kia from the corner out front. Pikasinski got tripped out front. No call. Rudy might have had goal there. But with a five-goal lead, you're not going to get that call very often, I don't believe. Pisano winds and fires no rebound. Maurer out on the point. 39 seconds left in the penalty. 10.37 in the game. Tobin, red line on the left side to Maurer. Maurer to Tobin. Tobin, couple of steps in. Right side feed to Pisano in the corner. Kia, Kia looking for Rudy out front. Instead feeds Oscar. Oscar fires and scores! Now, I don't know if Rudy touched that. I think he did. I think he did, but I'm not sure. I think it might have went right through Rudy's legs. And let's see who gets the goal. They give the goal to Rudy. That gives a hat trick for Rudy Pikasinski. Steve Paxos is saying that Rudy didn't touch it. I don't think Rudy touched it. Well, we'll have to see. We'll see what they rule on that. Time of the goal in any event is 4.36. And uh, Peter Douglas, you win. Two tickets to a future Invaders game and the dinner certificate at the uh, Tavern in the Tower. We'll have to see on that and get a ruling. They, they're going to say Pikasinski from Pisano. Frick gets taken down. No call on uh, Rogers. Pikasinski will take it right from him from behind, and now he'll get called. And they're going to give him two minutes. you got to be kidding. Okay. Rudy will get two minutes. Pikasinski will get the goal. We'll agree with him for now. I don't know. I'm not sure if Rudy touched it or not. Give Pisano the assist. The Invaders lead 6-0. Rudy is going to go off. The time of the penalty is 5.04. Rudy will get a two-minute tripping penalty. And this will be the second power play opportunity for Milwaukee. The Invaders are 3-for-3 three three on the power play. Rudy got called for tripping on a pretty good dive. <laughs> Delinsky fires, and the rebound taken away by Kramer. Kramer ahead to Frick. Frick up the left side against uh, Alioto. He'll take him inside. Frick will turn and chew up some more time. Bennett, the double team. Frick gets inside, and obstruction will be called on Alioto. And they'll put it in play there. That's the second foul on Milwaukee. And the Invaders' shorthanded team will put it in play just to the left of the net. Congratulations again to Peter Douglas of Canton, our fourth straight winner. Kramer tried to center, it was blocked, but uh, Frick gets it back. And taken away now, Bennett comes up with it for Milwaukee. Minute 32 left in the penalty. And Fry with it at midfield on the left side, drops it back to Delinsky. Delinsky feeds on the right side to Alioto. Alioto shoots and scores! 
And it's a very, it's a really a shame that Namoski loses a shutout on a cheap call by Frank Fien. But that's the way it goes. And Milwaukee is on the board. Time of the goal will be 5.44. Tim Alioto gets the goal and John Delinsky the assist. And Milwaukee is on the board. But it is a shame for Bill Namoski to lose the shutout on that call. Because the same thing, or if anything, a more flagrant foul was committed by Milwaukee at the other end that wasn't called. And then they take a dive on Rudy and they give Rudy two minutes. But the Invaders are comfortably ahead and they're going to win the game, so it really doesn't matter. Tima with a shot at the other end and the rebound taken by Freck. Freck gets it back to Kramer. Six to one, Invaders with a lead. 8.52 left in the game. Pikasinski drops it back to Tim Tima. And now forward left side, just outside the Milwaukee red line to Frick. Frick, nice move around Sunderland into the corner. Fricky wants a wall pass, can't get it. He and Pikasinski collide with each other, and the ball squirts out to Alioto. And Antonio with a sliding play to knock that one down. And Frank Fien with a call, a foul on Denzel. Third foul on Canton in the period. Sunderland with it for Milwaukee, ahead to Delinsky. Delinsky lost it, picked clean by Rudy. He shoots, and Schweitzer had to get back in a hurry to make a save there. Rick was out of the net, and he had to hustle back uh, to save that shot by Rudy. Jeff Rogers up the floor for Milwaukee across the Canton red line. Move on Kramer, shoots Namoski with a point-blank save, and he pounces on the ball out front before Rogers can get after the rebound. Had some help from Kondrich. Pass off the invader bench, taken away by Sunderland, taken back by Kia. Kia double teamed, and Fry and Sunderland knock it away. Kondrich over to help out. Kia sends it ahead for Tobin. Now it's uh, Maurer. He shoots. Schweitzer with a save. Maurer scores on the rebound. Well, the invaders are blowing this one apart. 7 to 1, Canton. Time of the goal, 7.06. Steve Maurer, second goal of the year. Let's see if they give an assist. Assist goes to Kia. His second assist of the night, and the Invaders lead 7-1. And this one's all over with the shouting. Invaders will take time with 7.54. We'll be back in a moment. This is Paul. that the fans do not. And when you come to the game, quit throwing stuff on the floor. It's about the third or fourth time people have had to get stuff away from the floor. That we're ready to go. Seven to one invaders. Maurer's second goal of the year. And Kia's second assist of the night. And Ross can't control the kickoff. Frick takes it away from him ahead to Tima. Tima right side midfield. Sends it long. On the run is Randy Pikasinski. Swites her out of the net. Lost the ball. Loose out front. Bennett. Trying to get away from a couple of people. Randy knocks it away. Mike Paxos got the ball back for Canton. Around one, around two. He's got Frick on the side. Frick fires. Save on a kick save and a beauty by Schweitzer. Frick got it back. Got inside Ross. Frick looking to feed. It's loose out front. 
Randy Pikasinski is going to get two minutes for plowing over Schweitzer. I think it's going to be Randy. Is on Milwaukee. It might be Milwaukee. Yeah, it is. Okay. He held the card up and pointed it at Randy. Tim Tima, a little upset off the invader bench, and Namoski uh, guiding Tima back, and off to the penalty box goes uh, Lee Rogers of Milwaukee. So the invaders will be on the power play. 7.37 is the time of the penalty. And they just gave him a yellow card. Now Don Tobin off the invader bench wants to talk about something. Rogers will get a boarding penalty. Invaders three for three on the power play tonight. Now did they give, did they give the invaders a penalty as well? Team is going to get a penalty for Canton. His first of the year. Tima has the yellow card. So no power play. They'll be four on four. And the time of the penalty is the same, 737. Tima gets two for unsportsmanlike conduct. Rogers gets two for boarding. And so we'll have twin penalties for two minutes. Invaders have this one comfortably in hand, seven to one. The only question is how much they're going to win it by. Can will put the ball in play from the right corner. Frick will do the honors. Frick, Randy Pikasinski, Mike Paxos, and Oscar Pisano out there. Randy clears through, shot partially blocked off the pass by Frick. They get it back on the point to Mike Paxos. Now Pisano at midfield. Pisano working on Sanderson back to Namoski in the goal area. Pushes it ahead left side midfield to Pisano. Oscar takes it to the center of the floor to the red line. Right side Mike Paxos. Paxos into Randy. Randy looking to center back to Paxos. He shoots and hit the crossbar. Let's see if we can get Mike Paxos a goal tonight. It'll... Sanderson up the floor for Milwaukee. Sanderson and Paxos. Randy Pikasinski over there to help out. And they dump it back in front of the Milwaukee bench. Delinsky, now Alioto. Alioto working against Frick at the red line. Frick picked him clean. Here come the invaders, two on one. Frick and Randy Pikasinski. Randy open on the keeper. He gets Schweitzer down. Schweitzer could have gotten called for a handball. They don't call it. He dives outside the box and might have gotten a piece of that. And Sanderson comes up the floor with Milwaukee. Knezic sends it up. Namoski, oh, he's taken down hard out front. Namoski hammered by Alioto. And it'll be a foul on Milwaukee. And they'll put it in play there. Team fouls are even at three apiece now. 6.24 left in the game. 7-1, to one, Invaders with the lead. Boy, that couldn't have felt too good. Mike Paxos coming up with it. 59 seconds left in the twin penalties. Paxos sends it forward for Randy Pikasinski. Randy working back to the net in the left corner against Evans. Randy on a retreat, trying to get some help out there, and he finds an open Oscar Pisano up the right side. He shoots wide. Rebound comes to Frick. Frick had the ball knocked away by Evans. Mike Paxos flags it down at midfield, and he'll back it up away from Knezic into Namoski. 35 seconds left in the two penalties, and Namoski dumps it out to Paxos. Mike trying to get around Knezic up the left side boards, does. Delinsky over to help out. Mike gets around him, too. He shoots, and the rebound knocked free, but you've got a whistle and a foul before the shot against Mike Paxos for pushing. Fourth foul on the Invaders in the period. 5.44 left in the game. 20 seconds left in the double penalties. Knezic with it at midfield. Through the circle. Picked up by Paxos. Drumps it back to Delinsky. J.D. across the red line. Picked up by Frick. Back to Knezic out front. Four seconds in the two penalties. And it's Sanderson... The penalties are over. Tima's back out on the floor. Frick with a steal to Tima. And here come the invaders on the attack. Tima looking out for J.D. Finds Randy, and they get it over to Frick. And Frick will back it up to midfield to Pisano. Pisano trying to get around Sanderson. Does. Sanderson takes him down from behind. No call. Sanderson could have gotten called two minutes for tripping. Not only a foul, and they don't call it. And Evans with a shot, deflected up. Tima heads it away. 
And Rodgers can't get it as it's taken by Kondrich and back by Rodgers. But there's a whistle and another foul on Milwaukee. And that's even at four apiece in the quarter. Canton will put the ball in play. Seven to one, Invaders comfortably on top with 4.46 left in the game. And Tom Kondrich with the ball for Canton at the red line. Now Pisano. Pisano pushed away by uh, Knezic. I think Oscar might have been uh, looking for an Oscar on that particular play. And Pisano now uh, matched up against uh, Sunderland. They get it ahead to Knezic for Milwaukee. Back to the net. Double team by Kondrich and Maurer. Knezic, middle of the floor, feeds Sunderland on the left side. Lost the ball to Tobin. Loose out front. Fry trying to get it away from Namofsky. Namofsky comes out to fight him for it. Tobin comes in to help out. It squirts back in the box, and Billy covers up. Outlet to Don Tobin. Tobin has a little trouble handling that. Chance Fry able to take it away, and Fry gets called for the push. That's five team fouls on Milwaukee now. And the Invaders will put it in play. 4.07 left in the game. Canton 7, Milwaukee 1. Kia midfield circle drops it back to Pisano. Pisano trying to get around... Uh, Jeff Rogers can't do it. Instead drops it back to Namoski. Forward to Kondrich. Kondrich trying to get around and Alioto just let him go. Kondrich up the middle of the floor in the corner and a give a go. Kondrich shot. Kia couldn't get to the rebound. It was deflected. Tobin's got it on the right side. 341 left in the game. Toby will back it up out front. Pisano left side at midfield. Oscar launches it in the corner for Kia. Kia and Sunderland fight for it there. And Sunderland comes away with that one. Sunderland and Pisano, and now ahead to Jeff Rogers. Rogers slips, lo lost his balance, and falls into Tobin. And Tobin, of course, gets called for obstruction. Rogers lost his balance and fell into Don Tobin, who was on the back pedal himself, and they call Toby for obstruction. Team fouls even at five apiece. Ali Odo shot, hit one of his own men in the foot. And they hit some of the girders up on the top, so they'll put it in play from the spot. 3.18 to play in the game. Canton 7, Milwaukee 1. John Delinsky to put it in play for the wave. J.D. looking down in the corner for Fry. Can't get it. Knocked away by Kondrich, and Maurer has it for Canton. Steve Maurer up the right side of the floor at midfield. Maurer and Fry fight for it. Maurer takes it away from behind. And, oh, boy, they almost knocked it right to Kia, but Schweitzer able to clear it. Coming up the left side is Delinsky. Three minutes left in the game. J.D. in the Canton end shot rejected by Tobin. Here comes Kia the other way. Kia trying to get away from Jeff Rogers around one, but the ball was picked away as Kia made the move by Lee Rogers. And now it is John Delinsky with it at midfield for Milwaukee. 2.45 to play. Tim Alioto with it for the wave on Kia. Left side, it comes to Delinsky. Sanderson off the bench for Milwaukee. Clears down the left side of the floor. Back at midfield, it's Alioto and now Louis Bennett. Right side at midfield, between the midfield stripe and his own red line. Bennett's pass headed by Kondrich, headed by Pisano. And off the chest of Mike Paxos. Paxos off the left sideboards for uh, Frick. Paxos to Randy. Randy shot loose out front, and Schweitzer pounces on the ball just before Frick was getting ready to drive that one into the back of the net. 2-12 left in the game. Fry stolen by Frick. Schweitzer clears past Bennett. And it's Sanderson with it for Milwaukee. Sanderson, right side, shot right into the chest of Namoski. Two minutes left in the game. Billy, long outlet for Frick. Frick working on Evans. The Milwaukee red line got a wide open. Randy, Randy Pekosinski, ridden off the ball by Lee Rogers. And Schweitzer couldn't control. Mike Paxo shoots, and it's knocked away by Evans. And we've got a foul, a trip, and that one, I think, they've called against Canton, and that'll be the sixth foul on the Invaders. And Milwaukee will be the man advantage for the rest of the game, unless, of course, they commit the sixth foul, in which we would play four on four. Time of the penalty is 13-12. <laughs> so it's a minute 48 left in the game. Second time the Invaders have been called for six fouls tonight. Each team has had four penalties. Canton three for three in the power play. Milwaukee one out of two. This will be their third power play opportunity on the night. 148 left in the game. The outcome is not in doubt. Canton seven, Milwaukee one. John Delinsky through the midfield circle, pushes it to Evans on the left side. Evans on the point, shot knocked away out front by Antonio. And Schweitzer has it at the Milwaukee red line ahead to Delinsky. Minute 33 in the game. Evans 
on the left point area. Back in the middle of the floor at the red line to Delinsky. Now Evans, Delinsky. And they clear it back uh, to Knezic on the right side. Delinsky left side to Evans. Minute 18 to play. Evans shot. It's up in the crowd. And let's see if Namovsky touched that. I believe he did. It'll be a corner kick for Milwaukee with 1.16 left in the game. Tim Tiemann gestures to the Milwaukee bench that the game is over. Knezic will put it in play from the corner. Knezic dumps it back out to the red line to Delinsky. Now left side at midfield to Evans. Minute 10 left. Evans in the point. Shot. Score! So Milwaukee gets another power play goal. Evans would get the goal, and I would think it would be the second assist for John Delinsky. And that makes it 7-2. Time of the goal is 13-53. Milwaukee two for three in the power play tonight, and that's all they've done. They're only two goals. Canton leads seven to two. So now we're back to five on five. Frick drops it back to Tima. Tima ahead to Randy Pikasinski. Minute three left in the game, and Randy Pikasinski is obstructed by Rogers, and that's the sixth foul on Milwaukee. So the Invaders will have a minute two of power play to close this one out. Time of that penalty, if you're scoring with us at home, is 13.58. That is the first time Milwaukee has been called for six fouls. They have had uh, three other, or rather four other penalties in the game. A hold on Delinsky, a trip on Rodgers, delay of game on Bennett, and boarding on Rodgers. John Delinsky will serve the penalty. Minute two left in the game. Invaders seven, Milwaukee two. Antonio to Tima. Antonio. Boy, this is a different power play, I'll tell you what. Antonio, Frick, Randy Pikasinski, Mike Paxos, and Tima. There's a shot. Rebound loose out front. Frick fires, hit the post. Frick got the rebound again. It's loose out front. 44 seconds left in the game. Is Milwaukee able to clear to Knezic? Knezic. The ball knocked away by Antonio. Taken by Frick. Mike Paxos clears to the right side. Frick pushes it to him. He shoots and scores! Mike Paxos, his first goal as an invader. 8-2 to two, Canton. There's one happy young man. Glad to see that for Mike. Mark it down at 14-28. Power play goal. Four for four on power plays. The Invaders lead 8-2. Steve Frick will get the assist on the Mike Paxos goal. And it's 8-2 Canton. They keep up that average. They were averaging eight goals a game coming in, and they get it again tonight. They were tied for the league lead in offense with Chicago. Offense also averaging eight goals a game. Unfortunately, Chicago also giving up eight goals a game. 8-2 Canton with 32 seconds left and Milwaukee's string of one goal decisions is ending in a way they had not hoped for. Louis Bennett with it for Milwaukee. Sends it in behind Ross. Ross working against Mike Paxos. Paxos is probably about four feet off the floor. Antonio and Bennett collide and they try to center. And Ross back to the net. 17 seconds left. Ross double teamed by Paxos and Antonio. In the corner, foot race there, centering ball knocked away by Tima. Paxos clears it long. Schweitzer out of the net will try to head that away from Frick and knocked it into this crowd with two seconds left in the game. Invaders will put it in play and it will be history. They will go 3-0. They will extend their home field winning streak to 24 straight games. And Milwaukee will go home 1-4. Tima drops it back. <laughs> Namofsky sends it out of play, but time expires. It's over. The Canton Invaders rip the Milwaukee Wave 8-2 before 3,765 at the Civic Center. Offensive play.
Canton outshot, uh, I was looking at saves instead of shots. Canton outshot Milwaukee eight to five in the period. Namoski had two saves in the final period, a total of eight for the game. Schweitzer had four in the final period, a total of 16. The Invaders for the game, they have 28 shots on goal and Milwaukee with 16. Canton wins it eight to two. And the scoring went like this, Kia, First of two at 5.08 of the first period. Maurer the assist to make it 1-0. Then in the second quarter, power play goal. Kia from Pisano at 1.04. It was 2-0. Second power play of the game. Second goal on the power play for the Invaders. Rudy Pikasinski from Kia at 8.32 to make it 3-0. And that's the way it was at halftime. At 1.09 of the third period, Pikasinski got his second goal. Antonio the assist. It was 4-0. 12.55 of the period, Pisano the goal, Tobin the assist to make it 5-0. And then at uh, 4.36 of the fourth quarter, Rudy Pikasinski, power play goal from Pisano, 6-0. Milwaukee got a power play goal at 5.44 of the period. Alioto from Delinsky to make it 6-1. The Invaders made it 7-1 at 7.06 of the quarter. Maurer from Kia. Milwaukee closed to 7-2 at 13.53. Power play goal, Evans from Delinsky. And then at 14.28 of the fourth period, power play goal, first is an invader for Mike Paxos. Steve Frick gets the assist, and the invaders win it 8-2, 3,765 on hand at the Civic Center. And uh, Lynn will make this our final break. I'll be ready for the close after this. We'll be back with a closing comment in just a moment.